Hello, my good teachers. It's me again, Teacher Kim, and it's nice to be back again. I am happy to see you again. Thank you so much for always watching my new videos and for subscribing. In today's video, I am going to teach you on how to turn your what? Guess what? Okay, in today's video, I am going to teach you on how to turn your mobile device into a webcam for your PC using Tan -tan -na, using Droid Cam App. Okay, narinig nyo yun? We are going to use Droid Cam App for our PC in order to turn our mobile device into a webcam for our PC. But before that, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell in order for you to be notified once I upload my new videos. Thank you so much, mga teachers. nice to see you again here. Thank you for subscribing. There are a lot of people who wanted to apply in an online teaching job but don't have a webcam because maybe uh, the built-in camera of their laptop has been damaged or they cannot buy due to financial crisis. So if you experienced that one and you wanted already to apply in an online teaching job, you should not worry about it because if you have camera there, if you have cell phone there and the camera is clear, then we will use it as your webcam for your PC. So in today's video, I am going to teach you the steps and how to use Droidcam app in order for us to turn our mobile device into a webcam for our PC. Steps and how to turn our mobile device into a webcam for our PC and use it for Skype, Facebook, Zoom, and etc. Okay, so let's first go to step one. Okay, the step one will be we need to install it using our smartphone. For Android user, you need to install it using Play Store. And for the iPhone user, you need to use your App Store. So after nyo ma-install yan, pabayaan muna natin. And let's go now to step two. Okay, the step two will be download and install uh, the Droidcom client app on your Windows PC. So, I will show you on how to download. So, you need to search Droidcom. Okay, okay na yan. Droidcom download or Droidcom for PC. So, you just need to click. Pupasensya na po yung laptop na naghang. And after that one, so after nyo, maklik yung Droidcom for PC. So, I will put the link in the description box, all you need to do is to click that one in order to install. So, after that one, after nyo ma-install or after nyo ma-search Droidcam download, you need to click the free download. Okay? So, i-click lang po natin yung free download na yan. And, X lang po, no thanks. Okay? Click lang po natin yung no thanks. Continue to download Droidcam. Okay, after that one, after nito, so mayroon pang pangalawa, so all you need to do is to click that one if you're going to download the, the Droidcom client. So, i-click lang natin yan. And, hintayin natin na ma-download si Droidcom for PC. So, as you can see, downloading na po yun. Downloading na po si Droidcom. So, all you need to do is to wait. Okay, patience is a virtue. Okay, nakita niyo yung ganito. So, all we need to do is to wait. Okay. In your Windows in your and in your smartphone, so all you need to do is to connect that one, connect your PC and your smartphone using your Droidcom. And you need to go to your phone, open the Droidcom app, you will be greeted, welcome, all you need to do is to click next. After that one, it will ask you permission to use your Android phones, camera, and microphones. So all you need to do is to allow it in order to turn your mobile, mobile device into a webcam for your PC. After that one, you need to open 
all you need to do is to open the droidcom client that is installed in your pc so we will click this one we have clicked the uh, installed droidcom client in our pc so ito na po yung lalabas so for device IP and Droidcom port, so makikita po natin yan sa ating Android phone. So, since sa ating Android phone, ang nakalagay is 192.168.1.2, yan po ang ating ilalagay sa device IP. So, as you can see in the Wi-Fi IP found in the Android phone, so ito, yun po yung ilalagay natin sa device IP. And for the for the droid com port, so since sa phone natin is 4747, so yan po yung ilalagay natin sa so 4747. Okay, we will click the start button in order to assure na makakonect talaga si droid com or makakonect talaga yung camera ng phone niyo sa ating PC. So let's click start. So tingnan natin. Okay, so... As we click the start button, so yan po yung lumabas. So, yan po yung sa Droidcam client. So, ibig sabihin, gumagana siya. Gumagana yung camera ko sa phone. So, that's it. So, nagiging webcam na ng PC yung mobile device natin. So, when you are asking how about when we connect this one into Skype. So, click lang po yung this one, yung minimize. Okay, minimize lang po natin yan. And after that one, okay, for example, in Skype, um, the, if you have a meeting, then you want to use your Droidcom app for your webcam in your PC. So just click this one, just click the three that here in order to change the setting. And what do you want to, what do you want to use for the camera, either the Droidcom or the built-in camera? So one thing is, I forgot, if you want to use the Droidcom app, you need to disable your camera in your settings. So you can you can find it in the control panel and device um, device manager, then click the built-in camera there. Then you need to disable your built-in camera in order for us to use the Droidcom app for our webcam. Okay, and in order for us to use the Droidcom app, app as our webcam in our pc okay let's go back now to the skype so what if you have a meeting and you want to use the droidcam app so all you need to do is to go to settings okay click the settings and after that one okay after that one you will go to audio and video and since i am using right now the logitech camera so i will change it to droidcam Okay, before changing it to Droidcom, so I want to explain the Droidcom Source 2 and the Droidcom Source 3 that is found in the camera setting. So, the Droidcom Source 2, I think this is the back area of your cell phone, the camera of your cell phone. It is the back area. While Droidcom Source 3, I think this is the front area of your cell phone, the camera of your cell phone. So, we will choose, since I am using the front area or the front camera area of my phone so i will use droidcom source 3 okay so that's it so my skype now is already changed into the camera of my phone so as you can see i am looking at my phone right now so it is the camera of my phone and after that one after you change that one into droidcom source 3 you will check also your microphone in order to be heard of course so after that one so since you are using the droid gum app so all you need to do is to um use the microphone droid gum virtual audio so after that one you need to click and that's it so after you have changed this one so you need to i think it's already okay okay let's check Okay. okay let's check if it's already changed okay it's already changed okay let's try to call um the settings of our skype so we need to 
check whether gumagana ba talaga siya. So, let's call our friend. Okay, let's try to call our friend. So, she is offline. So, let's check if gagana ba siya. Okay, we'll just wait. Okay, let's try. So, this is the this is the camera of my phone right now. So, gumagana talaga siya. So, Okay, so as you can see, as you can see, gumagana talaga ang Droid Cam app. So, if you're planning to apply in an online job but don't have a webcam, so you can try the Droid Cam app in order to turn your mobile device into a webcam for your PC. So, I am hoping that this video helped you a lot. So, thank you so much for watching and I am hoping that you will not forget to click subscribe and the notification bell in order for you to be updated once I upload my new videos. Thank you so much, Malaka Teacher.